All right, y'all, Miscal Made Easy. Got a high yield uh, topic here. This is for people that are in your basic biology, basic genetics, or just hitting some review before, you know, uh, big tests. Um, ribosomes, ribosomes. Now, ribosomes are important because they carry out protein synthesis, uh, translation of, you know, like messenger RNA, that sort of thing. Those probably the, uh, the, the things that it does that you most commonly will see on a test. Now, the thing about ribosomes is they have a large subunit and a small subunit. Doesn't mean doesn't matter if you're talking about a prokaryote, a eukaryote, a dog, a human, or an E. coli. Uh, the small subunit typically will bind to your messenger RNA, and then the large subunit will then assemble and form this complex where you have this protein translation complex, this protein synthesis complex, which consists of small unit mRNA and mRNA, excuse me, and large subunit. There you go, you have your protein synthesis complex. Now what happens, as you all know, is translation occurs up here. And we have other videos on this, but you have your E, your P, and your A sites. You now you have your growing peptide chain. Um, as the tRNA brings in a new, you know, three piece there. Um, <clears throat> the thing I really want to talk about in this video is a mnemonic that helps you remember the subunits because this is something that trips you up uh, very commonly when you're in those beginning biology and genetics courses and that is the size of the subunits. Now as you can see and as we talked about everybody's got a large subunit and a small subunit to their ribosome but the numbers, the size of them are very different depending on whether you're talking about a eukaryotic ribosome or a prokaryotic one. Now the eukaryotes are all even Eukes are even, and the prokaryotes are odd. So what does that mean, even or odd? Well, there's two different choices here. One is 80s, 60s, and 40s, and the other is 70s, 50s, and 30s. Now you can see that these ones here on the left, they all start with evens, even, 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 and the one on the right start with odd, odd, odd. Um, eukaryotes are the evens. So the 40S subunit, which is a smaller one, plus the 60S subunit, the bigger one, combine into an 80S total complex. Doesn't make sense, doesn't add up. You know, I don't know who put this together, but that's the size. And it, these units you probably don't recognize as like, you know, units of volume, 60S, but that's what they are. All right, eukaryotes here, because they're the evens, and then the prokaryotes are over here on the right side. 30s is the small subunit, 50s is the larger subunit, and 70s is the combined complex size. There you have an easy way to remember the subunits of ribosomes.